Hi guys, this is Dante with Drive and Thrive, and today we're going to talk about bonuses, promotions, and incentives. So, watch to the very end to learn how you can make the most with Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Postmates. Hi guys, I am here in Seattle, Washington on a rare sunny day. It's gorgeous, beautiful. I came out, uh, I'm doing a little bit of meditation while I think of today's topic. And uh, please forgive the slight cultural appropriation, but I got this cool, um, this cool Chinese robe in Chinatown in San Francisco a few months ago. So I thought I'd finally wear it today. But okay, so let's get on to the video. Promotions, bonuses, and incentives. The reason I decided to make this video is Postmates is doing something really sneaky right now. They're trying to pull the okie doke on us. They keep giving these guaranteed promotions, like 80 deliveries over five days for $850, right? And I think a lot of people are being tricked because Postmates keep doing these promotions over and over again. These do five deliveries for $60 guaranteed, or you know, do eight deliveries for $85 guaranteed. Look, this is not a good promotion to actually make you switch off of one of your other platforms to work for Postmates that day, and I'm gonna tell you why. You know, I've done some calculations. I keep track of the data from my drives on a spreadsheet, and I know that I average about $10 per delivery with Postmates. So, if the promotion is 80, uh, $850 for 80 deliveries over five days work for Postmates. So if that's the promotion, really what that is saying is if you work five days and you do 80 deliveries, they're going to pay you an extra $50. But such a promotion on its face would be laughable. So if Postmates came out and said, do 80 deliveries over the course of these next five days and we'll give you an extra $50, no one would do it. That's not a good promotion. You, would, you wouldn't accept that. You would continue doing Uber Eats or DoorDash. Or maybe you would also do Postmates, but that would not be an incentive for you to keep driving. To, to Oh, I have to get the, the, the 80 deliveries because I'll make $850, right? That's a terrible delivery, uh, a, a terrible incentive. So how to determine if the incentives are worth it, if the bonuses or boosts are worth it? All right, here's how. Calculate an average per delivery per platform. So I know with Postmates and DoorDash, the average is about $10. And I know that with Uber Eats, the average per delivery is $7. So if they're going to give a guarantee, I know that that amount has to be above that rate. So let's say Uber Eats did a promotion and they said, we guarantee you uh, $70 if you do 10 deliveries, well then the actual bonus money that you're being paid is $0. So you have to be a little weary of these guaranteed promotions. Now what is almost always on its face worth it are pure bonus money. So if Uber Eats says, do five deliveries and we'll give you an extra $30 in bonus money, you see that is an actual incentive and excuse the planes i live right by an airport here okay yeah so pure bonuses pure money bonuses are always worth it guarantees you have to actually do a little bit of math you can't just go by a, a high guarantee number and assume that that makes it worth it so postmates is trying to pull an okie doke on us and i hope everyone stops actually um uh going out in force for these guaranteed uh, offers by Postmates because uh, they need to stop doing that. And the way that we demand that they stop doing that is by not driving for them when they do that. So to disincentivize them from doing that, that's the issue. Okay, so what about Boost or, uh, what about Boost? So if there is a 1.1 or a 1.2 or a 1.8 or a 1.5 or a 2.0, what 
is the incentive you should be looking for to actually get on the road and drive? And here's my opinion. Uh, always think about the difficulty of the drive, traffic, right? So if it is in a downtown congested area, then the boost needs to be much higher than if it's in a low congested area with easy parking, right? Because that way you'll be able to do more deliveries. And one extra delivery could be worth more than the boost would be worth. Which is why in general Uber Eats, although they pay me on average $7 per delivery, I drive Uber Eats more than I drive DoorDash and Postmates. Because here in Seattle it's a curbside service. So I'm able to uh, simply wait in my car and I'm able to turn out more deliveries. So if I turn out, if I can turn out two deliveries in the time it takes me to do one DoorDash or Postmates delivery, well that's actually $14 as opposed to $10. So on average, I'm making slightly more per hour with Uber Eats than I am with DoorDash or Postmates, right? So sometimes you have to actually get into the numbers to decide, well, what is actually best, right? So yeah, I wanted to make this video specifically for that. You know, think about the promotions and bonuses. Uh, don't just see a, a, a gross number and assume that you're uh, being paid that number because sometimes like what Postmates is trying to do to us they're gonna try to pull an okie doke on us and have us out there driving our butts off for an extra five bucks so so yeah so be mindful of that be mindful of boosts and promotions when they come up and one of the reasons why if you are doing Postmates you should hop on to Uber and DoorDash is because at times when there's no blitz bonuses going on or there's no promotions, there may be a blitz or a bonus promotion going on with Uber Eats and DoorDash. So you can hop on, you can switch platforms, and you should diversify your platforms because that way you can figure out which one is best for you. So I am going to turn off this video. I'm going to do a little meditation before my day is started. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, on this channel if you have a different opinion about the guaranteed promotions please let me know if you have other tips and strategies regarding incentives please comment below like and subscribe I really appreciate your viewership and I have a cool new intro and outro banner so you're gonna see this like outro banner which is like subscribe subscribe and uh, tell me what you guys think about that if you guys hate it I won't leave it up but I'm, I'm trying to work on my intros and outros and make this channel um, flow a little bit better. So, yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, have a great day. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris Carley.